Hi, I'm C. Lynn Williams, author and parent coach. And you might wonder, who are you? Where'd you come from and why would I need a parent coach? Well, let me give you a little story. When I was growing up, and maybe your story is, a, is similar to mine, we did exactly more or less what we were told to do. If my mom and dad went to work, when my mom got home, we had started dinner. Homework was pretty much done unless we had an awful lot of it. And the idea of having a boy in the house, it didn't exist. Now, it didn't mean I didn't think about it, but the consequences for me would have been death, literally death. So I didn't think about some of the things or do them. I'll say I didn't do them. And nowadays, I hear everything. I hear kids telling their parents, I'm not doing that. I know that they run away. I know that they get into yelling matches. And that's the time that we have right now. Now, do I agree with that? Absolutely not. Can you go to jail because you have knocked your daughter or your son's block off? Yes. In this day and time, people will hotline you. But you don't have to do that. Contact me. I am Ms. Parent Guru, and I love helping parents create great relationships with their kids. I'm really talking about not just any kid. I'm talking about that teenager, that preteen that gets on your last nerve, that has rolled their eyes for the last time to you, and you're not going to take it anymore. Well, usually there's a backstory, and that's what I do. I always want to know what the backstory is because I had a backstory. You know, I had a mother that I could never please. And no matter what I did, no matter what grades I got, I didn't do it exactly the way that she wanted. I got a remedy for that because I've written a book called Raising Your Daughter Through the Joys, Tears, and Hormones. And that speaks to issues that mothers and daughters face. Now, if you tell me you don't have any issues with your daughter, I say, fine, go and enjoy yourself and enjoy your daughter. But the reality is, nowadays, there is something that happens when that young daughter of yours walks through the doorway of 10 or 11 or 12 years old, and now all of a sudden she feels who she is. And I can tell you what I want to tell you because I'm grown, Mom. And that's when, no, they're not grown. Do you want to slap them into the next week? Of course you do. And yet, they're crying out for something. They want attention. You know, think about it. In this day and time, when I was growing up, there was no cell phone. Now, I know I'm dating myself. I don't care. There was no cell phone. If the phone rang at dinner time, my dad looked at us like, I know you don't expect to get up from this table and answer the phone. And so that's the household I grew up in. And I know things are changing, but... Let me say this, your kids need you. And if you want a way back to them, if you find that they come in the house and you say, how was your day? And they say, good. And they go upstairs to their room or into the room and close the door. That's distance. And that's distance that you can't afford to have in this day and time with your teenager. I can help you. Here's what I'd like you to do. Take your cell phone out, and what I want you to do is I want you to text the word PARENT, P-A-R-E-N-T, to this number, 708-501-7060, and you'll get a free gift. And what that does is when you sign up for that free gift, I'll also get a chance to stay in touch with you. That's all I want. You know, I really do want... When I think about being a teenager, I felt isolated. I didn't think I could ever please my mother. And I was really a good girl, so I didn't run around. And yet, I felt empty. I felt not nurtured. You know, I didn't even know what that word meant. I mean, I, you know, I knew she loved me. I knew my dad loved me. But when you're a teenager, all kinds of stuff is going on. You know, you got hormones, you got, if you're a female, you have your cycle, your menstrual cycle, and so that brings on a whole set of issues. If you're a guy, 
maybe you're not as tall yet. Maybe you don't have biceps. Maybe you are puny. Maybe you're geeky. All of that stuff goes through a teenager's mind. And we can say all day long, it doesn't matter. Words, you know, can't hurt. They hurt. So when your peers are talking about you or when you know that you just don't fit in because maybe you're either smart or maybe you're not smart, but you don't fit in. There's nowhere to turn to if you can't talk to your folks. And folks, we got to be the people that they turn to first, right? Because we don't want them to talk to the gangbanger. We don't want them to talk to just anybody on the internet. I mean, think about there are so many people that your kids can talk to. Wouldn't you want it to be you? If you don't know how to reach them, talk to me. That's what I can do for you. Again, text the word parent to 708-501-7060. And I am C. Lynn Williams. Ciao.